Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And taken down just shy of the 40. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Allen going to change this at the line. Now Allen throwing on second down. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. First down, here's the run with Cook. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. from the red zone now. Allen escaping the pressure right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away but could not. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs, 27 yards. And the Bills put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away and he'll elect not to run with it and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25 and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Strike quickly here as they are in for six. 
Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Come on, that guy is oh, kidding me. There, the kickoff out of bounds. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but well, that's a costly miss hit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Allen going to change the look here. And they'll send the tight end in motion. On second down, Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. He's going to be Down and they're going to throw with Allen. Come on. Looking for it. But first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Buying time to his left. Why the fuck is he stopping? Second time he's stopped. Second time. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, he stopped. He stopped for it. He knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's up and good. That pushes the lead now to 15-7. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. As they've got it as we resume action. now to send it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it.
Scotty at the line. This Philly offense set to go. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. I mean, last time, how you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. On first and 10, it's Swift. We'll get this to about the 38. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. 63, 63, 63. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. Come on, dude. Incomplete. Trying to dial up the line the way out there, but it'll be third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On the handoff, this is Swift. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have left blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now a carry for Swift, and he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. 63, 63, 63. Hurts. It's caught. Smith. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Play number nine on the drive coming up. They need nine yards on third down. They'll set up to throw. Sets up to throw it. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Eagles. 
Bills unable to convert there on fourth. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first down, Allen. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, it's certainly going to be a lot tougher adding a touchdown to that lead now since they're facing second and 20 plus. Big time sack to start the drive and put the opponent way back. Let's see what kind of play call they come up with here. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20 to the air. Allen. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, goodness. That is good. Trent Sherfield, 91 yards. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football? Okay. Right? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance to stop passing now the way that it's going. I think we'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Hurts to throw. Again, that's Watkins. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here now, second and four. Throwing his hurts. Over the middle complete. That's Watkins. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 27-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And not a common sight at 
at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Second down, here's Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Russell Douglas picks it. from Charles. It was only a matter of time before this defense got involved and made a big play, and they do right there. Gosh, this lead is so large, CD, and we're only in the first half. Yeah, and I think that's the thing that's so amazing about it. You mentioned this large lead. How's this their first takeaway of the game? And what a spectacular one it was. Adding to the lead, showing the true dominance, and you're exactly right. We're still in the first half. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. The Bills say they hit it, and they do. Well, there you go, just your everyday leading big, and you onside kick it with a lead, and they got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game and we can kind of do what we want. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. During the week, the special teams coach puts together a game plan that he presents to the head coach. And in every game plan, there's one big play that he points to the head coach and says, listen, when we need it, we can go to it. I think they did exactly that on that one. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. But first down, Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Not a great start to this drive. You had the sack, now the false start. I mean, it doesn't take much to either read lips or just imagine what the head coach is saying right now. Get your head in the game, guys. Let's go. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Back to throw here. Under pressure, they got him again. 
Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted, and you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. What a real head scratcher there. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten. Alert! 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 Allen. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points. But he could not get that to stick. And that is a golden opportunity wasted there. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Now a second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills had six to their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And it's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. It's complete. Hey, you fucking black with two people. You fucking ridiculous. Two people. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. The Come on. Great job by the kick team there. Look at the hand team. He's dropping the fucking ball. Don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. Oftentimes, it's only when it's negative. In this case, he created a positive play for his team. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Allen again here on second and ten. I'm not going to add a fuck over. He's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 
A gain there of 21 yards. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Oh, good. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. They'll run with Cook. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And that'll bring up a second and goal. That makes no sense. You've got to understand your situations. You're in a goal-to-go -go situation, and instead you're dancing around, and instead of staying at least where you were, you end up losing yards for your team. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now Allen. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Here's Allen. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Bills. Khalil Shakir. Oh, really now a second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Bills have taken a five-touchdown lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. And a touchdown, apparently not enough. They want more, an onside kick. And the Eagles' hands team, able to cover it up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play.